in sleep timing consistency is key you really want to shoot for six to eight hours of good quality sleep everybody's different all of these are different so some of you are going to need more some of you are going to need less and really it has to do with quality how much deep and REM you're getting and if you can track that you're going to be able to really see how much sleep you need now timing is all about consistency as well so try and go to bed and wake up at the same time every single day even on the weekends if you can only favor one or the other i would go for mornings making sure you're waking up at the same time every morning even if you go to bed at a later time going to bed before midnight is key because every one hour of sleep before midnight equals two hours of sleep after midnight that has to do with our circadian rhythms and melatonin production because once you start to feel sleepy that sleep train comes that melatonin's kicked in you gotta jump on it and go to sleep because if it passes all that cortisol all of that stress hormone is going to spike by the way that's what gives you like the little belly pooch um, and so many other bad things for you so that cortisol will spike to try and keep you awake because your body thinks well you got to go hunt or something in the middle of the night in order to get food so try and go to bed before midnight when your melatonin kicks in and the other problem is if you go to bed after midnight you're sleeping in longer if you're not you're getting not getting the recommended amount of sleep and if you are you're missing out on all that great beneficial light which is again going to regulate your circadian rhythm and your melatonin production so go to bed a little earlier wake up consistently every single day keep on that consistency and make sure you get that sleep train when you start to feel sleepy go to sleep